guys, welcome to the DMX Show. I'm your host Shane, and today I'm going to show you guys how to update to the latest official 4.0.4. That's the IMM 77K. I believe that's the correct version. Uh, anyhow. We'll get that all clarified here in a second. P3 Droid, most of you guys know him from the Motorola days. If you had a Droid X or a Droid 2 or a Droid 3 or a Droid X2 or if you had a Droid Bionic, uh, P3 Droid and Team Black Hat, these were the guys that released all of the Motorola leaks back in the day and he's come through again. Uh, he took the official uh, the official over-the-air update for the Galaxy Nexus on Verizon. Uh, he Put it all together in a nice little uh, update.zip that's flashable via Clockwork Mod Recovery or TWRP. This is pre-rooted, uh, so I'm going to show you guys real quickly how to install that. First, I'm going to show you guys that we are on a custom ROM. This is flashable from any custom ROM or any firmware, any build, period. So you can be on stock or you can be on a custom ROM. So right now I'm running Droid Junk. You'll see uh, the build down, down here, IMM76i. So this is IMM76k that we're installing. So the first thing you want to do is uh, boot into Clockwork Mod Recovery or TWRP Recovery. Very easy, very simple. Head to the link in the description, download the file. You don't have to download any G apps or anything. Those are all incorporated. All we're going to do is wipe... Uh, factory reset, wipe cache, wipe Dalvik, and install the zip. Simple as that. Uh, we will be pre rooted as well. Now, this does include all of the stock kernels and radios. Everything's all packaged up nice and neat uh, for the easiest install available. You won't have to roll back to 4.0.2 and get totally stock before accepting the over the air. You can just flash this over any ROM, which makes it super easy. And we definitely thank P3 Droid for getting this all together for us. So, what I did there was I wiped. Uh, and then factory reset, and then we're going to cache and slide to wipe. This is in Team Win Recovery Project. We're going to wipe Dalvik cache. And then we're going to go back and install. Okay, and when it's all wiped and everything's nice and clean, we're going to select this update underscore imm76k.zip, and we will slide to flash. Now, this should take a few minutes. And when it's finished, we should be on stock 4.0.4. You see this is by Team Black Hat, P3 Droid. They package this all together, all nice and neat for us to make it super easy to update. So we appreciate that. I imagine this could also be used as a base ROM for anybody that's looking to uh, create a custom ROM. So I'll just stay with it and we'll let it flash. Like I said, it shouldn't take any more than just a couple of minutes. So you can see where it's flashing everything. It says writing boot image, writing bootloader, writing LTE radio, writing CDMA radio. And the process is just moving along. You see the status bar down there is turning blue. It's probably be a good time to tell you guys to uh, subscribe to the channel if you like these types of videos. I do all kinds of Android tutorials, how-tos, guides. I also do lots of product reviews. I try to do electronic reviews and phone reviews, that kind of thing. I review ROMs. Obviously, there's all kinds of stuff. If you enjoy this kind of stuff, be sure to subscribe to the channel. Um, also, you can... Whenever you do subscribe, you can request email updates, so anytime I post a video, you guys will be notified. Also, be sure to give this video a big thumbs up if you've liked it. It helps me out a ton. Uh, your two seconds really does help more than you know. Uh, also, be sure to check out DroidModerX.com for the latest in tech news and Android news. And also, that's where I keep all of my file archives and guides. They're all kept there at DroidModerX.com. And if I didn't mention, you can follow me on Twitter as well, at DroidModerX. So we'll give this a few more minutes to flash. Okay, so when it's finished, it will say successful. At that point, you will reboot system. And we should see that stock boot animation. Of course, the Initial boot up is going to take a little while because we did just wipe data, factory reset. 
and we flashed a new build. So it's going to take a little while to totally boot up. Once it boots up, I'm going to show you guys that we do have super user and that we are rooted. Okay, so it brings up the startup menu and we're just going to kind of skip through all of this. So I can show you guys that it is rooted. Also, you'll still have your custom recovery. You won't have to reflash that or anything. That should be left intact. Of course, you won't be able to boot back into it by holding the power button rebooting. You'll have to boot into it by holding your volume buttons and power and scroll over to recovery. So it did not replace your recovery. Just put in my name real quick here. Whoops. Okay, so now we're all loaded up. And first thing, I'll show you that we are on the official build. So let's go to settings and about phone. And you see their Android version is 4.0.4. And all the base bands and kernels have been updated. The build number down there is IMM76K. So now we're on the official build. And we easily flash that from any ROM. Of course, we'll open up and you can see that we do have the super user there. So we're all rooted and on the official build. And that was made very easy by P3 Droid. So we appreciate his work and uh, what he has contributed to the Android community. And like I say, guys, you can check me out on Twitter at DroidModerX. Be sure to check out DroidModerX.com for the latest in Android news and other tech-related news. Be sure to click on the subscribe button right there. Give this video a big thumbs up if you liked it. And I appreciate you guys. I'll see you in the next one.